In the Sys to Wheel project, our main goal is to develop next generation electric vehicles used for city logistics. So the role of virtual vehicle is twofold in this project. On one side we are managing the project as a coordinator and on the other side here at the first step of the project we are making simulations of the whole system. You can imagine that the systems are very complex and it's not sure how they will perform in reality. And this was our part to simulate the behavior of these vehicles before they actually were built. The approach we use in this project and the technologies we use in this project enable some retrofitting solutions of existing propulsion systems, but also path the way towards future next generation electric vehicles in city logistics. One central solution to put systems close to the wheel is of course to have the whole propulsion system inside the wheel and this is the in-wheel concept of Elafe. The Sisti Wheel project has allowed Tidiada to consolidate its capabilities in e-motor simulation, especially MBH simulation. This project has also contributed to further developing our experience in analyzing and validating new EV technologies, such as in-wheel motors, from a powertrain and vehicle dynamic perspective. The integrated in-wheel technology enables better packaging aspect of the vehicle, being ideal for delivery vehicles. In addition to packaging benefits, we also enable higher efficiency at reduced costs. For this tool project, we bring our OEM perspective, competencies and experience about vehicle development and electrification. Using this to wheel project has some advantages. Increased driving range with same battery or keeping same range with smaller batteries. Reduced number of components and complexity of supply chain. Compact packaging of powertrain components. Powertrain technologies for intelligent and connected vehicles. Providing high stability and performance. Enabling attractive user-centric designs. Reduced vehicle weight and thus carbon dioxide emissions. Reduced maintenance costs. Reduced energy costs. Lower development costs and thus vehicle price. The wheel hub engine, it's an ideal thing because we save so much space uh, in the extra car that it's the future. We have integrated two in-wheel motors in front wheels and proven negligible impact of additional unsprung mass on vehicle dynamics. This was even improved by torque vectoring. We try to focus on the challenge that the weight is located in the wheels and we try to control the wheels with our special damper technology and then we try to control this as well as the body. So the compromise between comfort and stability of the car is more or less the same as on any other vehicle in the world. Unsprung mass has always been a concern in the industry and in research we have been always challenging conventional thinking and therefore we are looking at in-wheel motor technology in various projects. We didn't experience any problems, mainly due to the lightweight construction of LF in-wheel motors. So unsprung mast is often cited as one of the key reasons for not having motors directly in the wheels. While we believe that often it's evaluated by taking an existing car and then figuring out what kind of motor uh, would be needed to power it. Well, if you're able to design the car from the ground up and design it with the in-wheel motors in mind from day one, it's actually uh, possible to focus on much more integration of the motor with the other parts in the corner of the car. And that way, the overall mass can be kept low and the ratio between sprung and unsprung mass can be kept quite similar to regular cars on the road today. The unsprung mass is there, but uh, you don't feel it. And the engineers did a really nice job of uh, adapting the electronics to it. And with the algorithm and also the turning in of the wheel and turning in of slow, slow corners, it works like a normal car. In-wheel motors is actually very interesting uh, in terms of packaging. We also achieved very good vehicle dynamic behavior of the car, mainly because of the agility working together with torque factoring and tire force factoring. Vehicle dynamics controls improve vehicle handling because each individual wheel is controlled on traction and on braking. That enables the vehicle to generate more yaw rate in the corner 
which makes the car feel lighter and more agile. Experience showed that already with the passive damper technology and adapting the spring rate, the negative effect of unsprung weight can be almost completely eliminated. Together with Elafe Propulsion Technologies, we as Flanders Make have integrated their in-wheel electric motors in our hybrid demonstrator vehicle. When we were developing our vehicle dynamics software, including torque factoring, active suspension control, we noticed that the added unsprung mass from the in-wheel motors does not have a significant effect on vehicle performance, handling and driving comfort. Since we also have active suspension on the rear wheels, we are able to improve vehicle performance, driving comfort and handling even more, especially on maneuvers where some roll is implied on the vehicle. The most important advantage of an in-wheel motor system is freedom. It's freedom of design for the car maker to make something which is mission specific and is the freedom to use the software to define the character of the vehicle, to define the function of the vehicle. And today this means something, but in the future with autonomous vehicles it might mean something completely different. And that's the big potential.